Hey everybody, Skeeter here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here in my backyard, standing in front of my stream. It's just a beautiful day. I love, just like many of you, tinkering with my guns. I like personalizing them. I like making them mine. But the one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to make any permanent modifications. I want to be able to get them back to stock for a multitude of reasons. It may be a future sale, um, could be a, a whole bunch of reasons. So the best way to modify a gun, to change its look, its feel, the way it performs, is a simple grip change. Many of you know that I have a relationship with Locke and uh, I had him send me some grips for three of my CZs. And I did them all in the same coloration because I wanted to show you guys what a certain color and texture can do for a gun. So if you stay with me for a while, we're gonna do a transformation. A grip change is easy to do, it'll give you the best bang for the buck, and it's the least permanent thing you can do to a gun. It's easily reversible, and can make a profound difference in your firearm. All right, let's get this party started with my CZ75 Compact in matte stainless. I want everyone to know that every firearm that you're gonna see today in this video has been safety checked and cleared prior to me bringing them out to the table. As you can see, my CZ75 Compact in matte stainless has this set of wood grips on it. These grips have a very wide palm swell and it makes this compact gun really chubby around the grip frame. Let's put this gun on a diet and slim it down with a set of matrix grips from Lock. For this video, I spec'd all of the grips in purple with neon green liners. I didn't do it because I specifically wanted purple with neon green liners on my guns but I did it to showcase the unlimited possibilities that you can get from Locke if you use your imagination. When you order CZ grips from Locke, they include new screws and O-rings with them. That's another great way to enhance the look of your gun because a lot of people who have taken their grips on and off have buggered up their screws or they have old slotted screws that are just ugly. So this will help enhance the look when you change the grips. All right, let's get these fat wood grips off and put on our new slim matrix grips from Locke. First, we're gonna take our screwdriver with our Torx bit. We're gonna take out the silver screws that are in here, put my finger underneath and pop the grip out. Now we'll turn the gun over and do the same thing. All right, now that we've got our wood grips off, this is a great time to take the opportunity to clean all this stuff that's underneath the old grips. Oil, just junk and dirt. Just take a little bit of CLP on a microfiber towel or a patch and get in here and just wipe it down. Real simple and it'll clean the gun up really nice. All right, we're gonna wipe that CLP off and then we're gonna get our grips on. All right, our grips are off and we've cleaned up the grip frame on the pistol. Let's get our new matrix grips on this gun. Super simple, place them on, take an O-ring, place it in the hole, take our new screw, and send it home. Don't gorilla it, just get it snug. You don't wanna over tighten anything. That's good. Let's turn it over, we'll put the other grip on, and I'll come right back. Here's the old grip versus the new grip. You tell me what you like better. All right, we've got both new grips on, and wow, what a transformation. The look of this gun is completely different. Obviously the purple is actually pretty cool looking on the matte stainless, but check out the liners. And this is something that when you place an order with Locke, 
you got to look into because it really looks cool and changes the look dramatically on the gun. As far as the feel, these Matrix grips from Locke are super slim. They have a nice texture that's not too aggressive, but gives you a really good purchase on the gun. I love them. Perfect for a compact gun. We took that chubbiness out of this gun, put it on a diet, made it nice and slim and trim. I love it. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so here's the next gun. CZ75D Compact PCR. The PCR stands for Police Czech Republic, and Locke just so happens to have a set of matrix grips that you can have this insert put in them, CZ PCR. So we did that in the neon green, as well as did the neon green liner. I think you're gonna see a very sharp contrast to what the same coloration in grips does to a black gun versus a matte stainless gun. I'm not gonna bore you with the grip change, I'm just gonna get it done, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Here's the old versus the new. All right, here's the PCR with the new grips on it. This change was dramatic. The contrast, the purple grips with the neon green insert, black gun, completely changed the look of this gun. The black rubber grips that were on this gun originally were just blah, they were boring, and the biggest thing about this transformation is that this is actually my wife's gun. She is going to love the way this gun feels. Check out the neon green liners. Beautiful look. But the grip on this gun, it's slim. It's trim. It's going to be way better for her to shoot. Let's move on to the Shadow 2. In the first gun, we had purple grips with a green liner. In the second one, we had purple grips with a green liner and a green insert. With the Shadow 2, we get to add another element, the neon green mag release button. Let's do the transformation, and I'll show you what it looks like. Here's the before versus the new. All right, here's the Shadow 2 with the new grips on it. I uh, This is just another video where I'm, I'm becoming speechless because... I wasn't even sure I'd like these grips on this gun, but I actually love them. I think the look is really cool. Um, the contrast is amazing. You've got the purple grips, the neon green inserts, the neon green liners, the neon green mag release button. It is outstanding. These are the thin bogies without the palm swells. And for me, they fit amazing. This gun feels great. Uh, the bogies are pretty aggressive. I like a more aggressive grip texture. So for me, these are going to be great. Man, I just love them. What do you think about all these grips? Put it down below in the comments section. Let me hear what you think. Well, here's the family photo of all three of these guns with their new grips. I think they look awesome. What do you think? Until next time, Skeeter out.